Hey there everyone, this is Everyone Loves Pirates, and I'm back with another Space Engineers video. And this one I'm really excited to show you. Um, it's going to be less of the kind of um, survival kind of thing. Um, I mean, we are in survival, but uh, it's kind of a little more along the tutorial line of things. But it's showing off this block that I've been waiting for forever. So let's, um, how do we want to do this? I think I'm just going to kind of get this up in the air here. I'm going to... Turn our ship merge blocks off. Just back up a bit. So what's changed uh, since this Thursday was how connectors work. So that is a connector. And before what we did, we did this in the last episode, is you had to connect it through a collector to whatever you want to connect it to and have it just spit stuff out and it happened very slowly and it'd be collected in this thing and sent off uh, wherever you needed it. And technically, you do the same thing if you want to connect a module to your ship here. So in survival, it's it's very helpful, at least for me. It's what I want to do. The way I, I kind of like playing survival is you want to basically be as efficient as possible. So you're going to be using this, or in my ideally for me, you're using one ship, one cockpit, engines, all that kind of stuff, to basically swap out a bunch of different modules for what kind of work you want to do. So this is our mining module. And right now what it did is it merged onto the ship and it mined up a bunch of stuff and it stored it in its cargo container and then we came down here and we would set it off and just let it sit there and unload stuff on its own while we hooked up another module. It worked but it's kind of messy. It takes a while um, and we have no you know, control of like where stuff goes. We can't move stuff from this ship onto our ship without having to set up some sort of collector um, thing too and it's just it's not ideal. However, the connectors now will connect directly to each other. So I want to show you how that works. I probably could have been doing a little bit of this as I was talking. But I'm just going to do a really, really quick and dirty retrofit on this ship um, in order to show you how you would connect it to them. And once you connect them, not only do you, do you have the normal control over all the systems like you do with a merge block, but now you'll be able to move anything you want in this case or from the mining module onto the ship without ever having to leave your cockpit and it works for space stations too so if we had a collect a connector there instead of on our ship and maybe that'd be the quicker way to show you how to do it but then we'd ever be able to stay in our ship ideally you have it on both and send stuff directly into the whole system here and you know basically bring in the ore put in the refinery wait for the refinery to refine it take the and still while in your ship, move stuff from the refinery into the assembler, have the assembler build whatever you need, and then still while in your ship, have the assembler send it back up through the connector into your ship, and you got what you need. So one thing we do need to do is we need to move this, have it point a different direction, unfortunately. Um, the medium car containers are a little bit awkward now, because they only have the large connections on opposite sides, and then they have the small connections on the other opposite sides. So like ideally we would have a large connection going down and we'd have a large connection excuse me, uh, coming out this way so we can connect to it on the ship. Right now we can't do that unfortunately. So with ore it doesn't really matter. We can still connect this like via the, that little tiny uh, connector there to one of the other little tiny connectors on here. In fact it may actually be connected right there by the time we get actually I think it's one too high. No, I think that's right. Maybe not. Actually, that is right. So it should be connected in. If we... No, it won't, because that's the big connection there. Small connections on the bottom. Anyways, like I said, it's a little awkward. But then what we do is we... Actually, just to make sure I have all the parts and stuff, I'm going to get rid of this one. Hopefully that'll give us all the parts we need to build all the stuff we need. Maybe not. I may have to go grab a couple more parts from the assembler or whatever. But let's get the connector now. We're going to connect it just right to... Is that the right way? No. Yeah, that was the right way. Never mind. Right to that. And actually, if we were being smart probably would have done it um, just to give ourselves some more options. Actually, they're on every side, huh? want to make sure there's a small connector thing on the top or the bottom we connect, could connect to if we needed to. Let 
Yeah, I haven't gone in and changed the welding speed on anything yet. I actually didn't think I'd get a chance to play. I'm, I really don't have the time to actually even do this, but I want to get this up here for you guys. I haven't done space uh, engineers in a while. I know that. I apologize. Um, but I'm not going to be able to, to play any games for about a week or so, so I did want to get this one out. I do have uh, quite a few Crusader Kings already recorded and uploaded. I haven't put any descriptions in or anything like that, but hopefully I'll be able to uh, upload uh, one about every day, so there's still some stuff going up on the channel. But when I get back, I'm going to do a lot more Space Engineers now that we have uh, kind of the blocks I've been waiting for. So, let's see. Now what we need to do is uh, get rid of that. Grab our merge blocks back. So as you see, I had to move the mer merge blocks forward a little bit. Oh, come on, hit the right buttons. Because we need them to be even with the output of that. So these need to basically be flush. For that word, flush, even. Nicely adjacent. I don't know. So since they are merge blocks, um, I am going to take them all the way up. As you see, I only put two small uh, armor blocks behind them. Ideally, obviously, you'd put more. But for your guys' sake, I'm going to just kind of do the bare minimum for this so you can see how it works and how you might want to build it yourself. So now what we need to do is push these further apart, obviously. But we also need to bring them down because we need something for that big thing to connect into. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do, if I can get close enough to it. Now, I could go right underneath the cockpit. But I'm a little concerned about what the cockpit's connected to and all that kind of stuff. And just to play it safe for this, I'm going to go one more set of blocks down. Just so the cockpit has a complete set of blocks underneath it. If you're building something like this from scratch, then you don't really have to worry about that so much. Okay, so we're going to have our connector there so we need our merge blocks um, yeah we need like that a keybinds change I don't know if I already complained about that or not I don't know if it's the update that did it or if I did something else that basically took them back to normal, I think. can't quite remember, but they're not the keybinds I'm used to using. So every now and then I hit a button and it doesn't do what I wanted. Okay, there we go. And then in the middle, we need a cargo container just to connect to something. Here, this will be the easiest way to do it. And then we'll put the other thing, actually... Let's make sure we have this set the right way. Oh, not off, not off. Okay, so actually I want to rotate that so I can get to that small connector there and we'll hook it up to the rest of the ship. Okay, so I know I have enough for all the merge blocks. I am gonna be low on some stuff for the cargo container. Let's get in here before we die. And then I also probably are going to need to pick up some stuff then for the connector. But we're basically there. I should be able to show you how this works uh, in under 15 minutes total on this video. Okay, hop out. Wrong button because my keybinds changed. Seven. Oh, I didn't put it out far enough. Okay, well, at least I haven't built it yet. Connector is too wide. Remember that. Okay. So that would be one. That would be two. There we go. Okay. So what do I need? Ah. Darn it. Come on. You know what you're doing. Computers, motors, construction components. Motors, motors, construction components. 
Yeah, it's easy. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay. Slam into the wall. Start components, motors, computers. There we go. That should be more than enough. Okay, so apparently I can't go into F3 mode anymore. I need to change the server settings for spectator mode, maybe. Just thought it'd be nice for you guys not to have to see a white screen. So yeah, I'm really looking. I'm really excited for this. I'm really looking forward to making some what I think will be pretty cool ship designs with um, either a combination of merge blocks and. Uh, these connectors, or maybe even just connectors. So, I mean, it's a way to quickly and completely, you know, fill up a ship with ammo, or, you know, top off your reactors. Uh, they should use the conveyor system, so as soon as you connect uh, to something, uh, you know, something like the reactors pull in a certain amount of uranium and keep it in the reactors whenever they get the chance. So it's something like every time you come in to drop off stuff to your, uh, what do we need? We need small conveyor tubes. Drop off stuff to your station or another ship or whatever. It can, um, it can come in and just you know, you'll automatically be topping off stuff like your reactor. Oh, come on, I know how to do this, don't I? Apparently not. Nope, I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. It's been too long. Just hit. I'm gonna hit things until it lines up. Oh, that's so close. There we go. I got that one. I figured it out eventually. I should have looked at the diagram. Okay, those should all be connected now. Perfect. We got our merge blocks. We got our two connectors. Everything will line up. It's a little low, probably, but it'll be good enough for these purposes. So let's move up a little bit. Our merge blocks are on. Let's go in here and name them so we know that which ones are for the ship. Um, actually, I kind of like to do that as well. It only takes a second. Then ship merge blocks. Save that. It's up at the top. Perfect. Turn those on. They already were. So now what we can do is we can come in here. All right, we're connected, as usual. That's nothing new. However, if we hit P, so let's check out just our systems. We have our regular systems. We've connected to the drill, so we have all the drill systems. We go into inventory. We have only, actually, we are showing the inventory for the drills, but we shouldn't be able to move anything. So we can only move this stone from the small cargo container, which is apparently in there somewhere, to the medium cargo container, which is there. But we can't move it to the medium cargo container that's on our ship because we're only connected via merge blocks. But we can move it amongst the things that are on that module. However, if we hit P, same landing, same as your landing gear, now you see those turn green. Now when we go into inventory, we move it from that medium cargo container to the medium cargo container on our ship instantly. No, no collector blocks, no anything. We don't have to move it to the connectors. It just goes through them in between the two medium cargo containers, the one that's underneath our ship here and the one that's on the drill there so pretty cool right now there is a little bit of magnetism to the connectors so like what you'd want to do like maybe for this the system anyways this base you would have a connector down there not a collector and you'd come in and you would kind of auto connect um, as well as we have our landing gear set to auto landing gear uh, but let's say let's come up and what we want to do is turn off P first, right? So now those are no longer connected, but they will magnetize towards each other. But now when we come down, I wonder if I can get both these locked. Probably not. One of them will always hit before the other. Move in here. So now our landing gear is locked. Now we don't have to worry about it magnetizing towards us if we try to pull away. So let's go into K. Let's turn off our ship merge blocks. And of course, the merge blocks on the drill 
are different now too because we took them off so kind of just to I don't know because I have to apparently we'll make that group back drill merge block block save okay but we'll turn off the ship merge blocks off and then we can pull away now there was a tiny bit of magnetism there between the two connectors, but that stayed put because the landing gear was there. Now if our landing gear wasn't connected, then that would have followed us out towards space and either reconnected with us, or if we'd gone backwards much quicker than it and it couldn't reconnect and we broke the magnetism, it'd just start floating through space towards us. So I mean that is something you need to keep in mind that you do want to make sure that's locked down before you try to pull away. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry for that. Throat's getting a little dry, but once again, uh, thanks for watching. That's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, a little kind of quick tutorial on how to connect a ship with its uh, with its a modular ship system with this module using these new connector blocks, which is really cool. And once again, just extrapolate that to the to the base. So you just put a connector block on the base, and you'll be able to do all the same stuff with the base. Never ever have to get out of your ship again. Really kind of cool stuff, if you ask me. So thanks for watching. Um, like I said, this next week, uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of Space Engineer videos. This will be the only one because I'm not going to be able to record any. But we'll have some Crusader Kings 2 videos go up. And then after this week, um, or sometime during this week, I believe the new Dwarf Fortress releases, or it's supposed to, hasn't been updated in two years. So I'm going to probably get a playthrough of that going on, but I will definitely be doing more Space Engineers. I may even get a multiplayer survival of Space Engineers going on. Uh, which I'm, I'm hoping so. I think that'll be really fun. And yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, just kind of what you like to see. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I think I might do a real quick update for the channel as well. Uh, so maybe look for that video and let me know what you'd like to see. But um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.